uh, a lot of us have, our mothers have gone on, um, but they have left a memory for us. I have been able to, just about most of the mothers, I know them, that's passed. My mother, my mother-in-law, my Sunday school teacher, some of the deaconess. I could just stand here and call the names, and each one I would have a story to tell about each one of them. There were some wonderful mothers, and we loved them dearly. But th those mothers didn't mind telling you what you look like, what you shouldn't look like, Amen. or whatever. They didn't mind telling you. They didn't, as we say, they didn't bite their tongue. Amen. Just whatever way, if, they, if you look good, they say you look good. If your dress too short, they say your dress is too short. They put on, put on something. Cover yourself up. Do this. Do that. And we didn't understand what they were saying because we thought we were looking good. <laughs> but those mothers were very sincere. And I believe that each one that's gone on are looking down on us right now. Amen. And I just thank God for all the mothers, those that are deceased, that he is with them right now. Mm -hmm. And they are looking down on us. Yeah. And they are saying, go ahead. Go ahead. They don't want us <coughs> weeping for them. At times, yes, we're going to weep a little bit. We get to thinking about the good things and the things they said to us, and tears come to our eyes. But just think about the goodness, how, how they came about, how they brought us, took all that good old bread. Mm. I just think about how my mom could make that potato pie. Mm. And how they would just fry, go out right there. They didn't wait till the chicken had been dead a long time. When they said kill the chicken, they meant kill the chicken and eat it then. So that's what my dad would kill the chicken. They would pick it and next thing we know we were eating that chicken. So they, they knew how to do these things. Right now, the mothers of today, we're lost. When it comes down to making ends meet and how to do this and that, we got to hire somebody to do it. But our mothers that's deceased, they knew, I thought they knew everything. They could take a piece of uh, fat meat, grease, and make my soap. And it would clean our clothes. We didn't know about getting no washing powder. But they, they knew. And I just thank God for my mother because I was a premature baby. No hospital to go to, because back then, we didn't have it. But God instilled in my mother to be the incubator or whatever you call it that they put previews in. You know how it is now. But look where I am now. Amen. And I, I, I just thank you. Just thank you. And at this time, now they're not supposed to be doing this, so I had to do it off the top of my head. So please forgive me if, if I, I, that's why I didn't call no names, because I, I didn't have this prepared to do it properly. At this time, Sister, where am I? The recognition of mothers is Sister Gloria Camp. I give honor to Minister Bell, Minister Dixon, uh, Program Chairperson, Sister Coleman, 
uh, Reverend Dixon, and then after our first lady, Sister Shirley Dixon, I give honor. And to God, it's all the honor and glory. And without him, we would not have been here. Right. Uh, Sister Galen made a, well, a good statement. Say, God will fix it. We know he will fix it. I am here today because he has fixed it. Uh, Sister Louise said she didn't feel good. I didn't feel good either when I got up. But I thought about the goodness. Amen. And the goodness. And the goodness of Jesus. And I carried on down here. About five or ten minutes late for Sunday school. But you know, Reverend Coleman dwells on that first verse. Where you can get something out of it. Amen. To the eye be the glory. Amen. And he was still on that first verse. Amen. When I got it. Well, I'm not here to say. I want to recognize the mother. Sometimes we say happy Mother's Day. You have a Mother's Day back. But we want to recognize our senior mama. Then the next senior group. Then the next senior group to be. And I don't see her here. Uh, Sister Ruby Willis, is she here today? If she's not, somebody stand up in the room with Ruby Willis' family. Sister Hester, you stand up. Give her a hand clap. <laughs> we thank God for Sister Hester being here. Give her a hand clap.
back at work this week. Joyce and Stephanie, stand up! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 